Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos, and I'm back on today with a, um, a number of projects that I made for a challenge that I'm entering, and uh-oh, I just get started recording, and look who shows up. <laughs> oh, he is something else, isn't he? So he just has to walk through, and now he's sitting on the desk. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so back to this. Um, I made these projects for a challenge that I've entered, and it is called the Tag Challenge, hosted by Crafty Butterfly Ferris. Um, entries are due by August 30th, so there's still time to join if you would like to. I can't remember if she has prize... Oh, she does have a prize package, um, but I don't remember what's in it, so... Um, if you're interested in that, I will be linking her channel below, so you can check it out and... Um, see what she has going on so be sure to do that and also be sure to give her a like and subscribe because she has some absolutely beautiful things on her channel anyway the requirements for this tag challenge are you had to create a tag it needs to be three and a half inches wide and six inches tall it has to have a hole punched in the top so that she can put a ring through it i think she plans to keep them together in some kind of a tag flip uh, thing the um, tag needs to have two to three layers of embellishments on it and let's see anything else no I think that's it two or three layers of embellishments with the hole in the top oh yes and on the back side you need to put your uh, contact or whatever information you want to share with her on the back of it you also need to submit two bows as well as two additional embellishments. She did say that her favorites are pink, gold, silver, shabby, and Maggie Holmes. So I was really excited to get into this challenge because I actually really like to do shabby chic. <laughs> so um, I had everything in my stash to make these. I didn't have to pick anything up. So that made me even happier. So with that, let's talk a little bit about the items that I made. So I have here the tag, and what I did was I um, just measured out and cut a piece of chipboard in the t shape of a tag, cut my paper for the front and back, and let me show you what paper collection I'm using. It is the Stamperia Dream Collection, and I have used this uh, paper, pa uh, paper collection on a number of projects from cards to embellishments, to mini albums. I mean, I have a couple of sets of this in my stash because I like it so much. And for this particular package, um, all I have left is the cover sheet with its back, as well as some scraps. So I have gotten really, really good use out of that. Also for the tag and the embellishments, I did use um, some Dollar Tree mesh. I used from my stash um, this very old stringed pearl spool. I've had this for probably 30 or more years and I have gotten a lot of use out of it. I also used um, these two sets of seam binding from the My Scrap Cabin shop on Etsy and this one is called Dusty Pink and this one is Sea Mist so those are really lovely. And Kiki's over here getting into my stuff again. Um, let's see what else. Yeah so anyway for this, um, I used the seam binding here. I made a little bow, and at the top, the little tag tassel up there. I have two layers of lace here, and this bottom layer came from AliExpress, and this top one here, which you barely can see it because it's the same color as the bottom one, but this came from um, Hobby Lobby. I have a cluster of flowers that I've put together here from... Um, Little Birdie Crafts, and I'm going to share those. Oh, oh, and some Prima flowers as well, which I will share in a few minutes. And here's a little bit of the Dollar Store tool tucked in the back. I did add some leaves in there, and I tried to put some gold leaf on them, but it didn't stick very well. So apparently I don't have the right kind of glue for it. So I'll have to investigate that for future projects. I have a little spray of white stamen pearls in the back here, as well as this little spray of... Um, light and dark teal. Um, they're not really flowers. They're like flower pods, I guess. I also used a product called Cloud Whip and some top-notch acrylic paint that I got at Joann's. And I just mixed a little bit of the two of them together and a stencil. And then I stenciled on to the front of the card here, or the tag, 
some little, um, looks like honeycomb there. And I've got some down here at the bottom. And a little bit over here. And there's some more back here, but you can't see it because I've layered stuff on top. So anyway, um, oh yeah. And also I use some pink, uh, I think these are stickles. Um, or one of those those little bottles like stickles. I can't remember what brand it is, but just to put a few dots here and there. And I also added one in the middle of my butterfly and put a little bit on the butterfly itself just to give it a little bit of color on there. So that's my tag. Oh, I do want to mention as I'm looking at this little tiny piece of glass here, which I really do not like, <laughs> It's gorgeous on the flowers. I think they call it chunky diamond dust, and you can probably see it glistening there. It's beautiful on here, but it does shed. And unfortunately, um, it is crushed glass, and it can cause a sliver in your finger. Ask me how I know. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, but I probably wouldn't use it very often. And I didn't put it on there. These flowers came that way. So anyway, um, I did also make two bows. And my bows are made with the Scrap Diva Designs Double Loop Scallop Bow Number 2. And it comes with the large bow and the small one there. And in order to make these, I actually made um, a full set of the small bows and a full set of the large bows for each one. So basically I made four bows and then I doubled them up. So... Um, you can see here I've got the back fishtail and then I've got some tulle tucked in. Then I have the other, the small fishtail and then the large bow and the small bow. I put a little bit of the seam binding here and looped up a couple of uh, the strings of pearls and just put one of my little birdie craft flowers in there. So those are my bows, very, very pretty. And you'll probably recognize these. These are made with Scrap Diva's Butterfly Rosette um, dies, which I'm absolutely loving. So I made two of the large right here. Very, very pretty. Loving these. So shabby. I think this die is perfect for shabby projects. And each one I have a little cluster of flowers on them. Added in a couple more of these little tiny flowers. Some more of the string of pearls, a little bit of the seam binding, and yeah, and good to go. So those are the large ones, and here are the small ones. Very pretty. And these flowers have some glitter on them. I didn't add that. They came that way. Very pretty. Love these. Love these. I, I hope that Ferris loves them too. So anyway, I'm going to go over real quick. I've already showed you the paper and some of the other things, but I'm going to show you... Um, the packages of flowers in case you're interested in picking any of them up. So I'm going to start out with um, these Prima flowers. And these are the Prima flowers that I used right here. These three came from this package. And I think this is called With Love. And there's the item number. So that's a Prima flower. Then I used a number of other flowers. Okay, so these here... And these came from these two paper packs, or these two flower packs. And this one is called Nora Shabby Chic, and there's the item number. Okay, and there's the single flowers. Corolla Amor Amio, and there's the item number. Okay, and then, let's see, oh, for my small bows, my I'm sorry, my small butterfly rosettes, I use these flowers, and this is called Agnes Shabby Chic, and there is the item number. And then it tucked into these uh, butterfly rosettes, I've got some little white and some little teal color flowers, and here are the teal ones. You get a lot in the package. And this is Natalia Song of the Sea, there's the item number. And the last set of flowers that I used are these little white ones, which are so cute. And they are called Seeded Micro Petals Moonlight. And the item number's there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of my projects that I made for um, Crafty Butterfly Ferris. And um, like I said, I will, I will link as much as I can below. I've had a lot of these flowers for a long time, so... 
I may not be able to find the links to them, but I will put a link to Little Birdie Crafts so you can go onto their site and do some shopping. Who knows, you might find something else you like. So with that, I will say goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I appreciate all of you, and I will catch you on the next crafty video. Bye, crafty peeps.